Hey everyone, it's Brendan the Paleo Dude back with another Jurassic World figure unboxing. Today we'll be taking a look at a few of the older Jurassic World Mattel figures, uh, the humans. So I picked these guys up for $6 each at Toys R Us. This is Canadian dollars, so it's quite a good deal for these guys. And I decided I wanted to grow my mercenary army. Um, I could use the weapons and the torsos, do some head swaps and whatnot, create some customs, all that jazz. I also scored a Claire in package. These guys are quite rare and I was uh, pretty shocked to see one. Um, so we're gonna keep her in package. And I also wanna do a comparison between the two mercenary variants because there are actually some differences in these figures that we'll be taking a look at. And we'll also be unboxing Owen with his armor set uh, because these are great for customization as well. And I just love that riot shield. It's a really great piece to have. I wish Mattel would make more human figures. Um, it would be great to get some in these like set packages with their accessories or with dinosaurs. But now we're getting them in two packs with full dinosaur figures or multi-pack play sets, which is still fine. So first we'll start off with the mercenary differences. So if you take a look at their glasses, you'll see the first wave mercenaries, the glasses just kind of end at the side of the head, where if you look at the Dino Rivals ones, it continues, they continue the black line around the ear, which is very interesting. Um, it's just a small paint detail. Um, I'm not sure it's actually, it may be in the sculpt, um, We'd have to take a closer look at the figures later on, but I believe it's just a small paint detail that they didn't fill in on this figure, but decided to fill in on the later releases. And other than that, there's not any other differences. So we'll set these two aside and we'll open these figures up. This one's been taped. I'm not sure if it's already been opened or if the package glue was actually deteriorating from, you know, just sitting on the shelf for so long and that they just taped them up. So I'm going to untape this. It just seems like the package was coming off and they decided to tape it because there's a little bit of glue on the inside. Oh, I miss these old packaging. Um, if you take a look, <laughs> I love the um, kind of old bars that they have simulating the cages that they use to bring the dinosaurs off the island. And they got the volcano erupting in the background with all the palm trees. I just love that. Um, but of course we've got new amazing packaging as well uh, for these figures. So here's Owen. He's got a little um, thing on the back where you can put a knife. Um, the arms can bend. He's got pretty good articulation for a small fig, just the standard stuff what we all know and love. So let's grab the weapons, or the accessories rather. So here we have the riot shield and the body armor. We will be testing these on the mercenary figures, so we won't be suiting him up. So let's unpack these guys. Make sure this is the best. This box has a little tear on the corner, so we won't be saving that one. So there's the Dimorphodon, just a standard one, no extra paint like eyes or anything. And here's the Mercenary. It comes with this stun baton, really cool, great for other figures as well. So let's take a look at what he looks like with the armor pieces on. Um, so I, I believe the Owen figure has these on here. There we go. And we'll put the chest plate on. It's a little warped, that's fine. The plastic's bendy. So we'll put the armor on and let's give him the shield and the stun baton. So this is just a simple custom. I'd like to do a head swap later. I've seen some people on Instagram do it and I find that really interesting. Um, I guess I probably have to warm up the plastic for it first in hot water, which we won't be doing right now. Um, as I'm in a hotel room. Um, if you've seen my earlier videos, I scored these guys on a big run, hit a few Toys R Us's. So now let's take a look at the last mercenary figure. Um, this package is a little bent, so again, we'll be saving this one, that one. 
And I like the positioning they're in, like the packaging, they, they put it in like a walking position, which is pretty neat. He's holding the stun stick as well. So you can see this guy also has two watches or armbands on, a small detail um, that, I think this one's just a wristband. There's no watch detail on the one on the left, but there's a little watch on the right. So he's just got some sort of armband going on there, which is interesting that they included that. Um, so yeah, no, I'm pretty pumped to customize these figures. They've got lots of small details like this. I think it might be a flare gun, which you can actually have loose or attached to the leg. That's a really cool thing. And I'd love to give some highlights to the pouches and packs on the front and the sides of this figure as well, make them stand out more. So that was my little figure review, a good throwback to these old past lineups. And hopefully someday down the line, we'll see Mattel return to human figures in separate packaging. Hope you guys enjoyed this review as much as I did. Be sure to subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.